Milwaukee means bitter cold in Wisconsin, but not during the Big Ten season. The action heats up this afternoon. The Iowa Hawkeyes were off to their second best start under head coach Tom Davis and have won two of their first three conference clashes. The Hawkeyes are flying high, ranked 11th in the country. Meanwhile, the Wisconsin Badgers aim to protect the home floor where they won seven of eight this season. Coming up next, the border battle between Iowa and Wisconsin on Creative Sports. Welcome to our Iowa, Wisconsin, and direct TV viewing audience to the UW Fieldhouse in Madison for Big Ten basketball as the Iowa Hawkeyes visit the Wisconsin Badgers. Hello, everybody. I'm Craig Deshaun, along with former Badger coach John Collins. And, John, two teams on opposite ends of the spectrum. Iowa comes in as a national power ranked 11th in the, in the country, and the Wisconsin Badgers, obviously injuries, limit them to only nine people on the bench today. Well, one thing the Badgers have to do, each player that's on the floor is going to have to find a way to spend another two or three minutes there before Coach Bennett can give them a rest. And then each needs to do one thing, fulfill their requirement to the other players so the team to be functional today. Without that, they could be major trouble. Very good, John. Now let's get the IR perspective and go over to Larry Morgan and Mac McCausland. Thanks, Craig. Of course, the Badgers under the direction of a new coach in Dick Bennett. Tom Davis coaches his 300th game for the Iowa Hawkeyes today. They're both natives at the state of Wisconsin, so they have the same roots. But philosophically, Mac, they really differ when it comes to basketball. As you said, they're from Wisconsin. They came up to the high school ranks. But when you look at Tom Davis, early on in his career, he heard a clinic by John Wooden over in Milwaukee. Since that time, he's really believed in pressure basketball going up and down the court both offensively and defensively on the other side you look at dick bennett wisconsin's new coach he too went to a clinic early in his career and saw a young coach at that time named bob knight coach bennett was already thinking control basketball he enjoyed hearing coach knight talk about good shot selection getting it into the paint he countered that with continuing to build off bob knight's philosophy and taking things from other coaches Nothing new in the game, just borrow a little bit from the best. And where you really see the philosophical difference comes in the tempo of today's game. Now let's go back to Craig Kishon. Thanks, Larry. The starting line are coming up in just a moment between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Badgers from the UW Fieldhouse in Madison. Today's game is brought to you by Norwest Loan Express. Need a loan? Dial 1-800-2-NORWEST. And Hardest Herbicide, the herbicide that is as dependable as you are. It starts long. This is what it's like to watch the Hawkeyes at home. And this is what it's like to watch them at the game. At home. At the game. So if you'd like to see the Hawkeyes where you can see the Hawkeyes, head to your nearest Old Milwaukee display for a chance to win free tickets. Until then, enjoy the game. Old Milwaukee and Old Milwaukee Line. It doesn't get any better than this. I wonder if the neighbor's got an ALS-resistant weed. Now that's what I call a resistant weed. Hey, old Buck's good. But with Buckdrill, we manage ALS resistance before it's a problem. Right, boy? Want to know more? Drop by your Buckdrill dealer soon. Hi, I'm Floyd Hutton from Hutton's RV Center. Take the easy drive out to Urbana and see our fantastic selection. We have the largest display of Fleetwood motorhomes, travel trailers, and fifth wheels in the state. We also have Palomino fold-downs, truck campers, and the Teton fifth wheels. We stand behind your purchase with factory trained technicians and a large parts and accessory store. Stop out and see us at Hudson's RV Center, I-380 at exit 43 in Urbana. Whether you're crossing the Sahara, or climbing Kilimanjaro, or hiking through Hoboken, keep in mind, two-thirds of the earth is covered by water. We do. Waterproof rock ports, all-terrain vehicles for your feet. If you wear 
extremely lightweight rockport hiking boots instead of heavy hiking boots, your feet lift something like 20,000 fewer pounds every day. Rockport. Walk into your nearest Walker shoe store. It's the Wisconsin Fieldhouse in Madison, Wisconsin, where Iowa and Wisconsin do battle. The starting lineup for the Iowa Hawkeyes, Tom Davis has had the luxury of going with the same starters for eight games in a row now, and so no surprises there. But for Wisconsin, Dick Bennett would love that luxury. This is his seventh different starting lineup that he will be using today, and he has had ten different players start. So certainly Tom Davis has the more veteran team in the deeper bench. We'll be back with the opening tip-off in a moment. Of all the words that describe the 1996 Ford Taurus, more does it better than the rest. Because the all-new Ford Taurus is more. Longer and wider with more interior room. Better handling and a more comfortable ride. More safety features with standard dual airbags, safety cell construction. More miles between tune-ups. A leading edge design with more features, safety, performance, and quality. All make the new Ford Taurus more driver and passenger friendly. Drive the new Taurus at your local Ford dealer today. There's more to afford. Anyone can sell you business phones. Business phones. But what about system design, installation, training, and service? There's only one source you need to know. Bi-State Telesource. With over 90 years experience, you can count on Bi-State Telesource for the technical expertise to handle every facet of your business communications project. Bi-State Telesource. We're about helping you. Fans, Iowa fans, remember the name. Played at Cassville, just right across the river from the state of Iowa, and Iowa recruited him strong for two years and decided to stay in his home state. Well, keep an eye on the shot clock today, because Wisconsin will use a lot of shot clock. For example, right now in their first possession, the shot clock has hit 11. That's Hall, freshman guard. Two freshmen start today for the Badgers. And with five seconds on the shot clock, and now down to four, the Badgers will get another opportunity, but again, just four on the clock. Yeah, Wisconsin uses what they call movers and blockers. They have a couple people screening all the time. The other three will be moving, looking for the offensive shot opportunity. And Doherty finds it. Sam Oakey on the jam to lead the Badgers to the first two points in the game. Both teams will be trying all afternoon to dictate tempo. That'll be the key, that and rebounding. Hall calls for the ball, takes the shot, hits it. Five to nothing Badgers on the three by Jeremy Hall. And Coach Bennett told us this morning to shoot around. He's not going to slow the game down entirely. If we have numbers, when we have that opportunity, a good shot is an uncontested shot. And that's exactly what Hall had. Kingsbury nails his 36th triple of the season to bring Iowa on the scoreboard, and it's 5-3 to three in favor of the Badgers. Moselle Peterson and Sean Doherty out of the backcourt, and this is Jeremy Hall. Hall against the trap, throws it away. Into the lamp, Ryan, 42, Ryan Bowen. Ryan Bowen checks into the Iowa lineup. You watch Oakey right at the elbow, come to the ball, and then just back door. Millard, not able to hold him with an arm bar. Oakey gets the dunk. Russ Millard, an early seat on the Hawkeye bench, has been bothered with the cold. Perhaps his wind is conditioning not where he'd like it to be. So Tom Davis gets him out before the game is two minutes old. Settles underneath. Pumps. Triple team scores. That's good by Settles. 
And the Hawkeyes tie the Badgers at five. Wisconsin with the first five, the Hawks the next five. The thing to watch and look for, obviously, Wisconsin riddled by injuries at the guard position, having to move even Peterson back to a guard position, another turnover. And Peterson usually would play the three position or more of a inside perimeter combination. And now Wisconsin uh, deep into their point guard position, probably what you consider their third team point guard, Darnell Haskin, Haskins leaving, going to Dayton on a transfer, and Sean Mason injured. Settles is having an outstanding junior year. Hits a three from the corner, and Iowa has now got an eight-point run underway. Here's Doherty, middle of the floor. He will not shoot from out there. And he will not handle the ball usually out there. They will just throw the ball to Doherty. He will turn and look to pass over Iowa's pressing team. Okay, against Settles as they go into the lane. Woolridge goes for the steal, and he comes up with the foul. And Andre Woolridge, who had nine assists in his last game, gets it to the corner where Settles, as you said, he has played well and extremely hot the last three halves. Oki against Bowen. The turnaround banks off the glass and down. Sam Oki, leading freshman scorer in the Big Ten. Iowa trying to get into the offense. Woolrich taking it down, and the foul spotted by Sam Licklider, who works the game along with Mike Spanier and Mark Massaro. Nice job by Iowa. They spread the court coming down, giving the opportunity for Woolrich to take his man one-on-one, -on -one, getting the block. Jeremy Hall on the foul as Russ Millard comes back in for the Hawks. He's Iowa's leading scorer and rebounder this season. Bowen against Oki and Ashukwu. Glasperin for the Hawkeyes, and it's Jeremy Hall coming up with it for the Wisconsin Badgers. Hall out of Garnett, Kentucky, a two-time second-team All-Stater. Peterson working against Glasper. Now Oki. Bangs into Settles, the basket will count, a three will count, and a foul is called as well, and Settles is called for backing into Oki. Settles that time coming out to block. On the outside, here's the inside play. Bowen trying to take it up through Oki. Oki with the block, and then he goes to the offensive end, and he's able to complete that play. Looking, squaring up with the three-pointer, Settles. A little hard on the block out, the official thought. Two tough warriors, Oki just settles. That is the first miss for the Badgers. They hit all their field goals and missed their first free throw try. Does this remind you of the Ohio State opening on Wednesday night? Sure, Ohio State made their first six shots. And in this game, Wisconsin doing just as well. Woolridge finds an opening. But then Murray dribbles it off his sneaker. And so the ball will go back to the Badgers. We lead at 10 date with 16.30 left in the opening half. Coach Davis, obviously a bit concerned early on. Again, Wisconsin, without a lot of guards, they're not going to go very deep. Iowa continues to put the pressure on as Bowen gets the block. Peterson gets it back, misses the shot. Millard has the rebound, and it's Iowa basketball. Millard hit in the back of the head, no foul. And Ryan Bowen continues to become a strong defensive player. Here he covers about 15 feet to get to the ball. Excellent job by Bowen. His 11th block of the year, he ties Russ Millard for the team leadership in that category. Hawkeyes look to tie it with a two, they do, on the jam by Russ Millard. And the game is tied up at 10. Nice alley-oop pass by Murray. Millard recognizing that. Gives the pointed finger at Kenyon. The Iowa Hawkeyes, a 13-2 record overall, 2-1 in the league. The Badgers come in 9-6. After they beat Michigan, 51-46, they also have two conference losses to Penn State and to Indiana, both on the road. So the game's first timeout comes with a score all even. 15-57 left in the opening half. The Badgers and Hawkeyes tied at 10.
It's that time. Oh, my. Time for some big. Here we go. Very big. Powerball News. Don't miss your chance to win this week's big, very big Iowa's Powerball jackpot. your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Even new ways to save. The 96 Buyer's Choice Drive Away. It's your choice. Our biggest cash back ever on 96 models. Or our lowest APR. Even our lowest lease rates on all 96 cars and minivans. Right here, right now. This is where you want to be. For a limited time, only at your local Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. As an auto owner's insurance agent, I take your needs seriously and work hard to find you the best coverage available. As an independent agent, I'm able to provide you with the policies and coverage best suited to your individual needs. You see, auto owners select agents the same way you do, with a great deal of care. For the best coverage at reasonable rates, call your independent auto owner's agent today. Millhatcher Smith Insurance Cedar Rapids, Walston Danny Insurance Waverly, Bob Ernst Insurance Bellevue, and Boswell Verhilly Insurance Marion. Hey, Morgan and Mac McCausland back at the Wisconsin Fieldhouse. Mac, the Badgers have played here since 1930, but not too many years more. Nope, it looks like they've got a new arena come in. And a gentleman by the name of Herb Cole gave $25 million. That's a to, nice start. Yeah, it is. That's a good beginning. Yes, it is. And they need $72 million. But Mr. Cole, if you're not aware, owned the Milwaukee Bucks and has been very involved in athletics in the state of Wisconsin for a long time. Of course, he's the U.S. Senator from Wisconsin, uh, the Coles Department Store family. So that $25 million was a good start. Well, I thought it was the salary of the Senator. For <laughs> <laughs> Not in these days of budget reductions and budget controversies. Glassberg comes up with a steal. Millard has a notion of the three. Now, Kingsbury will take the three. He hit his first, misses that one, and Doherty has the rebound. Iowa is the best rebounding team in the country. The Badgers are 10th in the conference in rebounding margin, so those rebounds will really be crucial today. Underneath the steal by Glassbury, got in front of Osita Washuku to knock it away. Millard over Doherty. Second bucket for Millard. That's just one of those veteran moves. It's not a situation where Tom Davis has a play like that. Kingsbury just read Millard very well. Jeremy Hall for three. He's been an incredible three-point shooter. 16 of 38. That's better than 40%. Enrique Murray answers for Iowa. And right now, the Hawkeyes are seeing the pace they like. And again, over the period of 40 minutes, you've got to wonder how this will affect Wisconsin. Hall looks again. The Shukwu takes it right back up and rolls into the hands of Settle. First Luke? rebound for Settle. Settles just lost that off his hand. And now Bennett says, let's slow it down. You know, you look at Wisconsin, the most points they have scored in the last four games or any Big Ten game has been 55 points. They're well on the way to almost a 55-point half. Kingsbury with the blocking foul. Last three possessions, the Badgers have come down one pass and put it up. And Dick Bennett told us today he really had to alter the tempo with his shorter bench. You think that's the reason they've come down and shot so quickly? No, I still think he goes back to his basic philosophy, which is in a building year of an open shot, and it's uncontested is the shot he wants. A contested shot is a bad shot, and he's got it in the hands of the shooter. You got it in Hall's hands, open. What better shot opportunity is he going to have, especially at 5'10", than even that first shot? Enzel Oriental off the bench for the Badgers, number five. One of the many newcomers on this ball club. He is a freshman out of Quebec, Canada. And a little odd series of events trying to get that ball inbound. You got to hit somebody when you throw it inbound. Can't throw it to yourself. And Doherty having all kinds of difficulty trying to get the job done. I don't know what uh, the final situation was, but Minnesota looked like they were losing by 12 or 14 as we went on the air. And we'd certainly like to extend to Gene Cady our sympathies as his father passed away out in California. And his adopted daughter is critically ill in New Jersey. Ashuku had the rebound, took it down, lost it. Jump ball call, and the alternating possession rule will put this one in the hands of the Hawkeyes. 
Earlier today, Michigan down Michigan State, 76-54. Michigan State had not lost a conference game, so right now, if Purdue holds on to that lead at Minnesota and wins, then they will be undefeated in league play, and Penn State will be the only other team without a league loss. As you look at rebounds, Iowa just three, Wisconsin five, and now you see Wisconsin going to zone. Even this isn't a prep of Coach Bennett. Part of this is because of the short bench, and he needs to rest some of his players, and you can rest more in the zone. Settles finds the open man Kingsbury. He finds an even more open player in Bowen. And Bowen took an outside shot for the people that were That's wondering if he would. Settles. And Settles on the finish. Settles has seven points for the Hawkeyes, who lead it by three. A Schwoof finds Oriental coming up the middle. He can't hang on and on the turnover. And those turnovers have hurt the Badgers early. It's Iowa basketball. Moselle Peterson back into the Badger lineup. Jeremy Cole, the freshman point guard, takes a seat on the bench. It's interesting when you see Peterson, 34% from threes. Yet when he goes to the free throw line, just 53%. So kind of an oddity to find a, a three-point shooter not shooting the free throws very well. Our guys work against the Badger zone. 30 minutes left in the first and Iowa leads it 16-13. Kingsbury way downtown at the miss and Peters the rebound. And then the foul called on both. Didn't mean to do it. Try pulled up. His momentum carries it to the Badger. And it's the first foul on board and the fourth foul on Iowa. You see a lot of minutes out of people like Doherty and Oki because they are beat him for that rebound. We have that edge and look at that. That's it beat beyond the arc for 28 foot shot. It brought some ooze and up in this UW Wisconsin crowd. And Oriental off his sneaker. Jeremy Hall comes back in to point for Wisconsin. And the Oriental will check out. Woolridge, Cohen, Kingsbury, Millar, and Murray on the floor of Iowa. They had a good game here last year at the UW Field Out. Six of 11 at the range. And you always think about Mac when a guy is six in the building, he rushes that when he comes yeah, back here. I thought this is a good place to sit. Very close where the fans are. It gives you a good background. And Millar getting stripped in. Okay, with a block from Russ Millar. Okay's been very, very active. I saw what people have not played can imagine had he been a Hawkeye activity level, he could have to an inside game. A shoot of travel, no buck. Asita was through on the travel. And those turnovers continue to mount up for the better. And that is not a Coach Bennett likes at all. A turnover for his team, you see him there. And in the three Big Ten games, it's almost been a reverse that that is like they almost have as many turnovers as assists. With Shuku for steal for Wisconsin. Another one will slip behind the pass. Kingsbury is fouled. So the Hawkeyes really do not have the numbers. It was three edges against two Iowa. And there to count basket. No question about the defending call. And the field well against Sean Tree. So Kings will try to complete the point play. He scored five. Field with seven in the large four. So hard to lead off. Kingsbury for the league's best free throw. Truth is 81 for fourth best in the league. And again, people sign in. Kingsbury gets the 10 and the throw. And the Hawks have opened their biggest into six-point Iowa pitch, and the Hawks have five-point run underway. So the score, Iowa 13, Wisconsin green. Big news about Blue Ribbon Beef is the money back guarantee. So when you choose Blue Ribbon Beef, you get the best quality. It's aged for tenderness. It's leaner. It's guaranteed. If you're not happy, consistently happy, I'll give you your money back with a smile. I know my business. I've got 15 years of experience. 21 years. 35 years of experience. Only the best gets a Blue Ribbon. 
I'll put my name on it. Blue Ribbon Beef. It's better beef. You be the judge. Only at High V. You're gonna see the light. We're gonna see you through. You know we do things right. We're always there for you. When you're ready to retire, one thing you don't want to worry about is health care. That's why more Iowans choose the Medicare supplement plans of Blue Cross and Blue Shield than any other. For your Medicare supplement, there's only one thing to remember. You just can't beat the blue. The Iowa Hawkeyes have opened a six-point lead. Wisconsin getting some advantage this time by beating Iowa pressure. Okie at 6-8, taking it on the break. A little inside-outside, the trailer wide open. And as we talked, you got to get the ball to Hall in an open position. That'll be a good shot. Second three for Jeremy Hall. At the other end, the Hawkeyes doing some inside work on a putback. Well, this is what they're known for is offensive rebounding, positioning. Settles and Murray there, having each side covered. And Iowa comes with a hard full-court press. Peterson having trouble. Throws it away to Woolridge. And that's a double-digit turnover already for the Badgers. Ten turnovers. Good feed by Andre Woolridge, but Kenyon Murray wasn't ready for it off his fingertips, and so the ball goes to the Badgers. 11.37 left in the first as Peterson comes down against Woolridge. Peterson to the baseline, all the way, gets the roll. Roselle Peterson out of Louisville, Kentucky. Last year won the award for the most improved Badger. Now the Badgers come up the floor, trailing by four. Of course, last year, Wisconsin with a Michael Finley, a Richard Griffith, and Andy Kilbride, or Brian Kelly. All new cast this year. Doherty, really the, the one holdover from that group. Well, he has some experience, playing time. And the Badgers string back-to-back -back baskets together to pull within two of the Hawkeyes. Jordy pops out on Millard. Inside, there's action away from the ball and a holdout spotted. And a hold by Hall with Woolridge sliding along the baseline. Second foul on Jeremy Hall. It's the third foul called on Wisconsin. Murray to the Iowa bench, replaced by Ryan Bowen. And the Oriental, number five, the freshman from Quebec, comes in for Wisconsin. And so far, Oriental's had trouble hanging on to the ball or making good decisions once he's had it. He's a freshman who has very rarely played against the kind of pressure the Hawkeyes will bring. And 25 left in the first with Iowa leading it by two. Bullridge, nice entry feed into Settles, and Settles call for traveling. So the turnovers continue to mount for both teams. Iowa turned the ball over a season high 29 times against Ohio State after the game before against Minnesota, season low 11. Yeah. Kind of an oddity stretch in those two games. Of course, Ohio State had 30 turnovers while Iowa was doing it 29. It was uh, your basic bakery. <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of turnovers, weren't there? We haven't seen a lot of Wisconsin half-court offense. They've been trying to break with Iowa, find the open shot. Oriental with a three. His first points in the game, and the Badgers regain the lead. Kingsbury answers for the Hawkeyes, but not quite. And the offensive rebound taken in by Ryan Bowen. Settles for three. Rebound by Doherty. This time Oriental will wait for the Badger offense to come down. Did not look at a fast break opportunity. Greg Helmers gets ready to come in for the Hawkeyes. Moselle Peterson, and the rebound taken down by Settles, and Oshuku reaches in trying to take it away. He picks up the foul. That will be his first foul. One thing about the Badgers, you know they're a patient offense. You might not think they take a lot of threes, but in fact, behind Illinois and Iowa, they're third most in the league in three attempts. And they do take a lot of threes, but they take good looks. They keep getting themselves open. In fact, people don't realize Coach Bennett, when he was at University of Wisconsin Green Bay, left the country in three-point percentage two of his years up there. 
So people sometimes think patience and threes aren't compatible, but obviously in the Dick Bennett philosophy, indeed they're compatible. Hawkeyes again having trouble hanging on to the basketball, and Oriental comes up with it for the Badgers. Wisconsin with a one-point lead. Nine minutes left in the first. Okie got off to a red-hot start. Got seven of the Badgers' first nine points. Has not scored since. In the middle, Doherty takes it to the paint. And he's fouled the way in by Greg Helmer. Helmers with his first foul. The Hawkeyes with their fifth. Doherty's making a move. Little drop step up, then under. Draws Hawkeyes, draws contact nicely. Use of the left hand. Good fundamentals. Hawkeyes have been to the line just once, so have the Badgers. Both these teams hit their free throws well, and both shoot more free throws than our opponents do. Doherty with his third point, and the Badgers' lead is now 23 to 19. Underneath, Helmers tries to take it to the hole, pushed on the way in. Nice cut to the basket. Trying to stop the bleeding right now. The Hawkeyes trying to find any way they can to score. Foul called on Burker Coleman, his first. Again, movement. Woolridge, a little behind the back, but right to Murray. Murray drawing the attention of the defense. Helmer's now trying to trigger the offense. Murray fakes a couple of Badgers into the air, puts up the shot, and he will go to the line. Enzi Oriental on the push, his first foul. Sixth foul called against the Badgers. Five have been whistled against the Hawkeyes. Murray to the line with Iowa trailing at 23 to 19. And here's Asita Washuku out of Nigeria, played on the Nigerian national team last year in the summer. Of course, he is in his second year at Wisconsin after transferring from Kilgore, Texas Community College. Murray coming off a 10-point game against the Buckeyes when he dropped home two threes, hits his third point in this game, and the Hawks are back to within three. That ends a 10-point Badger run, and Oki with the rebound. Hawkeyes have been held without a basket since the 11:45 mark, and we're now at 8:22. Coleman on the miss, and Bowen on the rebound. Oki did have numbers, decided to pull it back out, and again a hand check out front. Officials in this game have done a good job of calling that hand check position as they try and ride the dribbler. Oriental on his second foul, and that will put the Hawkeyes in the bonus. That's the seventh against the Badgers. Iowa trying to get it going their way. In other words, they like a speed game, getting the ball out. Point guard opportunity, and now as he starts to drive, Oriental with a hand. Well, Rich looking for his first point. And the Hawkeyes, normally a very good free throw shooting team, are only two out of four from the line. Iowa second best in the league in free throw shooting, and the Badgers are third. Peterson, trapped, loses the ball, but it's off Woolrich. So the Badgers may have only four players on their bench, only nine players rest, and only seven of them scholarship players, but they have hung in well with the 11th-ranked Hawkeyes for the first 12 minutes. Well, one of the things Coach Bennett likes to talk about and likes to teach is a toughness in poise, and he has gotten that out of the team so far. Okie dribbles away from the double team. Badgers have 10 seconds to shoot. Shot clock at five. Peterson knows it, fires it, hits it, and he is fouled. Peterson banks home the shot. Kingsbury trying to get out after him. He commits the foul. It's a second time of the ball game that a Badger has been fouled after making a three. You may not see it once again. We've seen it twice in the half. Yeah. Kingsbury coming out, coming across the wrist. Looked like maybe Kenyon Murray He's got a bump on him. So. In fact, it was really Murray that did push him. And it was Murray who got the foul. So Peterson with that rare four-point play, second that the Badgers have had the opportunity to score, and they have opened a seven-point lead. We'll be right back at Madison. Introducing Max Day. 
of Brothers Three Homes. When it comes to the best, the best book, the Bible, the book that got them, the best music, old-fashioned gospel music, the best country, the good old USA, and the best home is the Fortress Dynamax Home. Welcome to my Fortress Dynamax home. This is my kitchen. I love all the counter space. The formal dining room, ready for company. Lovely living room. Do you like it? This is my master bedroom, and as you can see, it is really big. This is the master bath. Double porcelain sink, whirlpool tub. What more could you want? Come and see us at Brother 3 Mobile Homes. Close Sunday in honor of our Lord. Spring, 93. Normal rainfall. Frontier outperforms Dual 2. 94. Dry. Frontier outperforms Dual 2. 95. Wet. Frontier outperforms Dual 2. Frontier's chemistry activates with less moisture and stays in the weed zone better when it's wet. For safe, season-long grass control. Wet, dry, or average. If you've been using Dual 2, you can do better. Frontier. The Badgers are on a roll. They've outscored Iowa 14 to 1. Let's take a look at one of the replays as Wisconsin having some success. Well, the ability right now of Wisconsin to hit that outside shot, and this one, a long banker, I mean, that thing is like three feet long if the glass isn't there. But you get a little reflecting of the basketball into the net, and the Hawkeyes digging themselves a little hole down seven. And unlike Oki, who had the opportunity earlier, that time Peterson did complete the rare fourth play. Oki hit his three, but then missed his throw. The Hawkeyes have not scored a bucket now in over four minutes. And the defensive team last scored at 11.45, and we're now at 7.26. You haven't seen them take the ball inside. They tried to there after timeout. Coach Davis realizing it has been perimeter shooting by Iowa or free throw line. That has really been it. Oki finds Shuku, takes it to the offensive foul. Shuku with his foul. Nice and the Hawkeyes have ball with 7.13 to play in the half. A large hitting pass. Quick. Oki again with a nice pass off balance. And Millard getting over there. Fans don't think it was a charge. And they may have a case. Iowa looking to get on the scoreboard for the first time in a long time. You're starting to see more patience by Iowa after that timeout. Trying to look to get the ball inside. Shot clock is 10. Badgers playing some outstanding defense now. Shot clock at three. Glasper dishes to Bowen. Beats the buzzer. Yeah. Bowen got that in. It looked like Oki he touched it on the way up. And for the Hawkeyes, their first basket in five minutes and 13 seconds. And a nice job by Custer. Playing the attention of the deep as he looked to penetrate. Doherty fighting to get a from Bowen underneath, and Bard comes from behind, comes up with a steal. Again, you see Iowa looking to go inside. You got the good choice, trying to get her. But you can't force it. It looks like Montero was determined to try and get that ball to set. And that's exactly what Dick Benton's philosophy is to not allow the ball in the lane. So his base defense philosophy had to drive it in just terms of do not let the ball get into the... So he's going to like the way that his team has played defense so far. He's been trying to get it there. Thus far, the Badgers have denied it. Five and a half left in first. Hawkeyes down by 27-22. And now Badgers are dictating for what they want to do. Oki pulls up, and it's in. Boy, Oki elevates quickly, and it's up high. He's going to get a lot of good looks at the back, even in traffic, because of his jump ability. Our Norwest quick stat, flurry of turns by both teams. Badgers really, turnover problems for the most part were early in there. They stopped turning the ball over, and that's when they built the lift. That's 13 overs and a half, though. That is a lot for any Dick Bennett team. Woolridge takes it himself. And as he drives, he is fouled. 
Andre Woolridge will be on the line for the Hawkeyes with 4.56 to play in the half. Oriental picks up his third foul. Make it his second foul. Elvis and Kingsbury come back on for the Hawkeyes. Starting for Jeremy Hall back in for Wisconsin. He had to go to the bench with two early fouls. Hawkeyes not done a very good job at the free line thus far. Just hit the first four on the stick. Iowa hit 72% and their starters 76.5%. Iowa team is, uh, as you indicated, this is very good shooters as a group. Both from the free throw line and the three point line. But well, you need to create that inside presence to open up your perimeter game. Hawkeyes back to within three as Oki comes right down the middle. The basket will count. Sam Oakey, a big-time recruit for the Badgers. Some say maybe the best high school player to come out of the state of Wisconsin ever. Well, he's right up there when you look about great recruits. Jim Jones was out of here in the 70s, a great recruit. But this young man is a big, big-time player. For Millard, his first foul as Oki tries to complete the three-point play. And you saw the use of the huge hands and the jumping ability. Sometimes the huge hands can bother you early on in the career, like in the free throw shooting, because the ball doesn't come off the fingertips. You tend to hold it in your hand a little too long. Again, Iowa tries to get the ball into the lane. Again, the Badger defense tries to deny the ball going in the lane, and the jump ball, it goes to Wisconsin. It's been really a big story of the game. Dick Bennett's team not allowing play by Iowa in the lane. And you'll see Dick Bennett on that one knee and he doesn't wear out a pair of pants because he puts a towel underneath not only bennett a successful coach not the only successful coach in his family though his daughter kathy highly successful oshkosh division three she's 14 and 0 this year went to the final four division three women for the last two years all against murray now peterson working against kingsbury Hall for three. That would have been his third. Woolridge on the rebound. Iowa trails by five. Woolridge has a touch. Goaltending Woolridge. counts the basket. Slapping the backboard. Going to call the goaltend. Dick Bennett, like an explanation. Tom Davis says, good call. <laughs> Little chest bump out front. And now the release. See if the ball hits the glass first. It's a goaltend. The Hawkeye with the steal on the 14th Badger turnover. Well, it's once again the penetration. This time it is blocked by Coleman. Well, it's trying the same play two times in a row. Doherty makes some contact. Peterson on the follow. Roselle Peterson has got eight points. Ian Oki leading the Badgers in scoring. And Wisconsin opens a five-point edge at 31 to 26. In the lane, Murray against Oki, off balance. The Hawkeyes, Millard recovering. And it has gotten physical inside, and the fouls have not been called there. Millard in the crowd, he gets hammered. And Millard will go to the free throw line as a chorus of booze rise from the Badger crowd. And Woolridge out front talking to the official felt he got bumped and pushed as he delivered the bounce pass and then Oki take him wired out of the shot opportunity. It's his second foul. Oki with two fouls, with Shuku with two, Oriental with two, Hall with two. Certainly on a bench of only seven players, Dick Bennett's got to be concerned about that. Gary Close and Tom Davis talk on the Iowa bench. That's where you start to recognize it as a player and try and take it at the people in the first half with the foul problem. Millard, the league's eighth best free throw shooter, but he misfired. He's number four in scoring. He's number three in rebounding, number two in field goal percentage, and number eight in free throw shooting. Millard now with five. The Hawkeyes pull back to within four. With a timeout, it's Wisconsin 31, Iowa 27. It's 
starts long before spring. For a lot of reasons, I have to make the right choices along the way. Because a successful harvest is more than hard work and a little luck. Finally, getting to this moment leaves me with a feeling that can't be explained. It can only be experienced. No place in the Midwest has as many ways to play. Take a spin on our reels, our slots. We have over 1,100 slot machines with progressives like Megabucks and Quartermania, or video machines like Poker and Kino. Come on over where the real fun is, and remember, in these parts, no place but Meskwaki has as many ways to play. this be car of the year? You can't get up and walk around in a car. Cars don't have seats on rollers. Or so many seats, period. Or so much space for so many things. And they certainly don't offer sliding doors on both sides. Well then, it would appear that for the first time ever, the Motor Trend Car of the Year is more than a car. It's a caravan from the new Dodge. It's the Badgers leading the Hawkeyes 31 to 27. We take a look at the experience factor in this ballgame. The Hawkeyes, the veteran team, the Badgers, the very youthful team. And you see playing time. For Iowa, 76% of the playing time, in other words, the minutes played, come from juniors and seniors. Only a quarter of the time are from the yep, freshmen and sophomores. It's the absolute opposite at Wisconsin. Very little senior, junior just 15%, and 76 from the 200 classmen groups and of course they've got a couple transfers now Wisconsin looking to have Paul Grant next year becoming eligible and Adam Schaefer just has left Villanova and second semester will be going to school here from Downers Grove Illinois you just saw that rebounding statistic that's really significant because I will leave the country in rebounding margin as most of you know on the other hand Wisconsin ranks 10th out of 11 in the Big Ten in rebounding but today the Badgers have done the job Really, that's how they beat Michigan here. Among the things, they had those second shots that did a good job on the offensive glass. And that allowed Iowa the second shot opportunities. We have not seen Iowa get a lot of those offensive rebounds where they're able to shoot, miss, and get, shoot, miss, and get, and have some opportunities to either score or get fouled. Oriental, one of two from the line, and Bowen has the rebound. That's his fourth rebound. So Bowen doing another good job off the bench for the Hawkeyes, and he really has played well the last couple of ball games. Oriental takes it to the hole, gets the bank. Oriental with a little push off into Ryan Bowen's chest. Nothing called as he completes it, and wide open at the other end, Kenny Murray just running the court, beating any Badger down there. It's a five-point Wisconsin lead as they try to handle Iowa pressure, and Glasper knocks it away from Peterson. For the Hawkeyes, Woolridge and Millard will come back in. Kingsbury and Bowen will leap. So right now on the floor for the Hawkeyes, Millard, Woolridge, Murray, Glasper, and Jess Settles. And it's Hall, Doherty. Well, we've got a timeout. It's a 20-second timeout by Wisconsin. And right now, Coach Bennett wants to try and set something up, A, to break the press, and then get a quick score at the other end. Iowa again, plagued Larry by turnovers. Some of them unforced, where historically you have seen Iowa try and keep the turnovers, even in their fast-paced game, at around 14 or 15. And they are going to be already, I think, at 11 turnovers in this first half. And the Badgers with 14. Tom Davis out of Ridgeway, Wisconsin, not far from here. And, of course, he has his master's degree from this university, the University of Wisconsin. You know, Tom Davis is an up-tempo coach. And he says good teams can get impatient. They want to try and beat others right away in referring to the Dick Bennett style of coaching where they will be a patient team. You have to be able to tell your team and coach them into a patient game. Peterson on the miss, Doherty on the follow. Sean Doherty has scored seven points. And the Badgers have equaled a seven-point lead. This is their third seven-point lead. That's their biggest of the game. But Settles comes back quickly to answer for the Hawkeyes. Settles with 10 for Iowa. Wisconsin just left the basketball. The trailer settles wide open. And we have seen him shoot the ball very well over the last two or three games. 
that he's doing so many things right now well. He already has more assists than he had all of last year. Two steals fewer than he had all of last year. So you think about his scoring and rebounding, but Jeff Settles does so much more. Like right now, he leads the conference in steals. Well, and Woolridge and Kenya Murray not connecting there. Woolridge trying to drive and penetrate. Received the ball a little low was Murray. Could not hang on to it. Hawk guilty of their 13th turnover. Now you have Iowa in the zone. You got to be concerned about Oriental and Hall as three-point shooters. Settles snares his fourth rebound. Settles. And Peterson runs down the rebound for the Badgers. Wisconsin continuing to out-rebound Iowa. The current margin is 16 to 12 Badgers. That's a huge factor in this game. 10 second violation. The Hawkeyes force a Badger turnover. And the Badgers continue to have their turnovers mount up as now Iowa wants to take a 20 second timeout. Well, certainly you take a look at the Badgers. They're running into that Iowa trap, so much a part of the pressure. And here, the Badgers really having a difficult time with the Iowa trap. Boy, the Badgers moving up to 16 turnovers. And they had nine games this year that they had 16 or less turnovers. The up-tempo game, offensively and defensively by Iowa, giving Wisconsin more possession, more opportunity for turnovers. But the guards not handling it well yet. And as we talk, it's important for the fans to understand as you look at that turnover, like I say, sometimes that's games. That Wisconsin's about their first two point guards as you look back in November. Sean Mason out with an injury, and Darnell Hoskins transferred to Dayton. Again, I was trying to score from the paint. The Badgers making it difficult as they will send Settles to the free throw line. That time, and every time, really, Iowa gets the ball in that position. Three, sometimes four white shirts come at the man with the ball. Looking inside, Settles open. But again, we go back to the philosophy of Dick Bennett. And he said, overall, I just do not want the ball to go into the paint. We're not going to give people easy scoring opportunities. It's the second foul on Coleman, and Settles will go to the line. We mentioned a moment ago, Jess Settles having an outstanding season. He is in the top ten in five different categories in the league. Number one in steals, number seven in field goal percentage, number eight rebounding, number nine scoring, number ten assists. That is an outstanding start to the year. And missing two free throws. Well, that's rare. Out of somebody that usually will make 80%. And so the free throw shooting has really been off for the Hawkeyes today. Iowa from the line, just 5 out of 10 as we go to the final minute of the first half. Not a good percentage and not many shots for an Iowa team. The Badgers guilty of a turnover. And here come the Hawkeyes with 35 seconds to go on the half. Woolridge. And the foul called inside first. And it is called against Booker Coleman. And that will be his third foul. Inside will be two free throw opportunities for Woolridge as he drives in there. Now see if Woolridge ends up double dribbling. The ball gets bobbled by a Wisconsin defender. He deflects it. So the crowd thought double dribble, but it was legal. Woolridge regained it after the defender had flicked it away. Crowd reacting, but it was the right call. And so now Woolridge hits the free throw to pull Iowa back to within three at 36 to 33 with 33 and a half seconds. Left in the first half. Bowen comes in to help Iowa set up the press as we go to the final 33 and a half seconds. So the shot clock will be off. And now you might see Coach Bennett's offensive philosophy, which is reversing the ball and finding open shot opportunities. And right now he is, Coach Bennett is really upset with Peterson. That was not a numbers opportunity. It was not an open shot. He wants to see an open shot. I am sure of that. Against the 11th ranked team in the country, his team has a chance at a half point, uh, half time lead if they just don't squander this opportunity. Even if they don't score, they've got the lead at the half if they don't throw it away. And the clock now goes down to 15 seconds. See the court spread? It's like a 1-4. But it's against an Iowa zone. Out of the corner. Peterson missing badly. Bowen 
slam to the floor, jump ball called, and the Hawkeyes will have it with 2.4 seconds left in the half. Good hustle, good effort there by Ryan Bowen. That's a good strength rebound. Kept his arm in there, keep the ball tied up rather than have it ripped away from him. He's got five first half rebounds. Settles, buying some more time. Bullridge. Got it! Yes! Hawkeyes take the lead with that one at halftime. The bank three by Woolridge and Settles really helped with the roll that got Woolridge the distance to pick it up and pop it home. Oh, yeah. You roll it along the ground or floor. Good job. The clock does not start. A couple steps and then a 40-footer on the bank gives Iowa the lead. That has to be hurting the Badgers and uplifting for the Hawkeyes. Badgers have the lead for something like the last 10 minutes of the first half until Woolridge scoops it up, fires it up, and chalk it up. Three oh. for the Hawkeyes. Four. Hi, we're Schulte and Swan. We're on in the morning at Max 102.9 Radio. Do you like country music? We play a lot of it. 20 in a row of today's hot new country. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All day. Yeah. <laughs> 20 in a row. Cedar Rapids, hot new country. Max 102.9. <laughs> There is no excuse in someone being miserable about hair loss. Given this wonderful opportunity that's available now. And since I've had the process of back to doing all the things that I like to do in the water. Take a closer look. Call now for a free brochure. Operators are standing by. How close are you to all the sports you'd ever want to see? With Prime Star. Closer than you think. Prime Star has all the action you're looking for. Plus lots of other great programming. All with digital picture and sound. And since Prime Star is a service, there's no equipment to buy. And it all starts at about a dollar a day. The Hancock 85,000 mile tire. It's the last tire you'll ever have to buy. Guaranteed for 85,000 miles. See the great Hancock tire selection and wholesale tire, the Boston Tires and Service. When you buy a home from us, we back it up with complete service. That's the Hames way. See Kurt and Norma, Troy or Cynthia Hames, the homes people, Marion and Iowa City. Stay in touch with the latest in local news. News Channel 2, In Touch, provides current information 24 hours a day. Dial In Touch, category 2222. On the next episode of Seinfeld, kissing neighbors are on Jerry's hit list. You know, as soon as this person comes in, you know you have to do this. I mean, if you could say, touch a breast as part of the kiss hello, <laughs> then I think I could see the value in it a little better. <laughs> There's no more kissing, and I don't care what the consequences are. Back at the UW Fieldhouse in Madison, the Iowa Hawkeyes lead the Wisconsin Badgers 37 to 36, thanks to Andre Woolridge and that long three-point attempt. Very good first half for him, but we're going to talk Big Ten basketball first. Mac McCausland joins us from the Iowa side of the basketball game, along with John Paulus. You guys uh, have your differences as far as Big Ten, who the favorites are and whatnot. Mac, let's start with you first. Well, I really like Penn State. You know, they've done a great job already. Some people question some of their schedule, and they started a little soft, maybe in the Big Ten. But they got a great backcourt. And in that backcourt, you have Danny Earl, maybe the best point guard in the Big Ten in Lissicki. They've got shooters everywhere, John. I think they could do it. Well, I agree with what you've said, but when you lose a Meche and you have Carlton, who were all Big Ten players, now you don't tell me you replaced those people with people that came back. No, but they got one of the great shot blockers in Booth. Well, that's true. That's very true. But I tell you, you have to get to all of them. You can't guard all five guys. But I agree, Penn State's done a great job. But I want to see them when they come to your place, our place, Indiana's, go to Michigan. Then I'll pass judgment on them. Uh, and Michigan, you got to like them today. Very athletic. You beat them last week. But I think they're going to come together as they get older with that experience. And they've got a point guard that I like in Travis Conley. 
Oh, yeah. I would actually agree with you because I think with Steve Fisher's team, they haven't won this league ever with all those great teams they had, the 5-5, five, five, the Fab Five, and so on. But when the season finishes and the tournament comes around, they're there to play, and you have to beat them. Do you like Iowa? Do you like Purdue? I love Iowa very much. And, you know, Purdue, nobody talked about Purdue. But you look about, they have eight of their top ten players. Yes, they lost Waddell. Okay, they lose him. Martin, they lose. But with that, they've got experience coming back like you have. You have almost 80% of your team back experience. And Illinois, without Garris, boy, they could look at a, a bad, bad start. Oh, well, you, you and I were talking before the game. They play Indiana Day. If Indiana beats them, they got to go to Purdue and come to you. They could be 0-6 to start this league and 12 in the country when the league started. Yep. That talks about the league. Yep. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Illinois with a big game against Indiana tonight down in Champaign. More at halftime coming up for Madison in just a moment. When it comes to making your money grow with Collins Credit Union, all you need is us. Hurry in for our IRA certificate special. Receive 6.5 annual percentage yield on a minimum deposit of $1,000 for 36 months. Also available for IRA rollovers and transfers. Limited time offer, substantial penalty for early withdrawal. Must meet Collins Credit Union membership eligibility requirements. Stop in or call one of our convenient locations. Collins Credit Union. All you need is us. Of all the words that describe the 1996 Ford Taurus, more does it better than the rest. Because the all-new Ford Taurus is more. Longer and wider with more interior room. Better handling and a more comfortable ride. More safety features with standard dual airbags, safety cell construction. More miles between tune-ups. A leading-edge design with more features, safety, performance, and quality. All make the new Ford Taurus more driver and passenger friendly. Drive the new Taurus at your local Ford dealer today. There's more to afford. If you're a construction or industrial specialist, Eastern Iowa Supply is your most important tool. Sales and service go hand in hand now that Cedar Rapids Tool Repair is an authorized Milwaukee repair center. Plus, we carry all brand name power tools, including Milwaukee, for all different trades. We even deliver, and we're locally owned and operated. See Eastern Iowa Supply for tools, accessories, fasteners, Milwaukee tools, and more. Eastern Iowa Supply, serving Cedar Rapids, Waterloo, and the surrounding areas. The Big Ten Conference, celebrating 100 years of athletic and academic excellence. Starting from the 42, this time there's running room for Cedric 
Jackson Air on that one, Terry. Tim, I swear he cleared those goal points by 20 yards. I, I, this guy has the, the strongest leg I've seen in years. Dominating the Pac-10 co-champions, Iowa has won the Sun Bowl, 38 to 18. Nineteen ninety-five marks the one hundredth season of Big Ten Conference football action. Celebrate the centennial anniversary of the Big Ten by ordering this commemorative home video chronicling one hundred years of football and men's basketball. For just nineteen ninety-nine, you can relive the rich tradition and proud legacy of gridiron legends from Grange to Griffin and basketball greats such as Lucas, Magic, and the Fab Five. To order, call one eight hundred Big Ten Four or send nineteen ninety-nine plus five dollars shipping and handling to the address shown. They are planting elm trees again because we developed one resistant to Dutch elm disease. Computer technology we created opens career paths for people with disabilities. The Indian Story Theater we established brings tribal traditions to life for thousands of school children. Oh, and we're developing early season sweet corn so you can eat it sooner. Knowledge enriching your world. The Wisconsin Idea. The University of Wisconsin-Madison. Of all the words that describe the 1996 Ford Taurus, more does it better than the rest. Because the all-new Ford Taurus is more. Longer and wider with more interior room. Better handling and a more comfortable ride. More safety features with standard dual airbags, safety cell construction. More miles between tune-ups. A leading edge design with more features, safety, performance, and quality. All make the new Ford Taurus more driver and passenger friendly. Drive the new Taurus at your local Ford dealer today. There's more to afford. Howdy, partner. Wow. Drop. <laughs> These Hardy's Big West burgers really inspired me. Let's eat. Let's first. Hardy's New Big West for that big and wild western taste. Lots of bacon and cheese topped with honey barbecue sauce. Big and wild western taste. Yeah. Gotta go west. Gotta go now. The New Big West. Fresh from the kitchen at Hardy's. For breakfast, try our 99-cent bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Okay, one more time. This is what it's like to watch the Hawkeyes at home. And this is what it's like to watch them at the game. At home. At the game. So remember, to see the Hawkeyes where you can see the Hawkeyes, head to your nearest Old Milwaukee display for a chance to win free tickets. Until then, enjoy the game. Old Milwaukee and Old Milwaukee life. It doesn't get any better than this. Back at the Wisconsin Fieldhouse, where Iowa leads Wisconsin, 37-36. We take a look at a couple of big plays in the first half. Sam Oki, the outstanding freshman with a big first half for the Badgers. And when you talk big, he plays big. Here's one of those dunking contests that you do in the summer. Takes off just inside the free throw line. Huge hand, Sam Oki controls the basketball, and then the big finish. And Iowa, it had a big finish of its own, similar to the way Michigan in and a half a week ago here only Woolridge this time gets the bank they're hoping for positive results with a victory and so at the half on that three by Woolridge the Hawkeyes had the lead Iowa 37 Wisconsin 36 
Spring, 93. Normal rainfall. Frontier outperforms Dual 2. 94. Dry. Frontier outperforms Dual 2. 95. Wet. Frontier outperforms Dual 2. Frontier's chemistry activates with less moisture and stays in the weed zone better when it's wet. For safe, season-long grass control. Wet, dry, or average. If you've been using Dual 2, you can do better. Frontier. was the television event of its time. You said you loved me. I didn't lie to you. Seen by more than 70 million people. You cannot have one breath of scandal. A story of love and sacrifice. I will never see her again. Now, 12 years later, the saga continues. Don't destroy her with love. Richard Chamberlain stars in The Thornbirds, The Missing Years, coming Sunday, February 11th to CBS. At Burple Fisher and and individuals achieve their financial goals is our mission. We offer the personal investor a new look at opportunities through our financial services division. We can help your company's growth with our investment banking division. And we offer equipment leasing investments through our leasing services division. Join Berthel Fisher & Company's world of opportunities for a new and refreshing look at investments. Call Berthel Fisher & Company at 1-800-356-5234. Starters in for both teams as the second half begins. That means the Shuku, Oki, Peterson, Hall, and Doherty for Wisconsin. And Murray settles Woolridge, Kingsbury, Millard for Iowa. The Badgers with a good game on the glass in the first half. One of the reasons they lead a team that is ranked 11th in the country as we start the second half where they did most of the half till that three by Woolridge. Now Oki gets the lead back for Wisconsin on the first possession of the second half. You look at Chris Kingsbury, he has got a wrap on his left hand as he went ahead and tried to bounce that ball inside for an assist, but Kingsbury may have jammed or sprained that thumb. I don't recall him having that tape on in the first half. No, I don't believe so at all. The update on other games today on a creative sports update. But Wake Forest, a rated team, top eight team with a victory. And, of course, Virginia Tech with a big win. Auburn up steps Georgia today. Georgia's really had a, a great season starting. And you look, Purdue finishing off up at Minnesota. And that means Purdue now 3-0 in the league and Penn State 3-0 in the league. And everybody else has at least one league loss. Penn State trying to go to 4-0 and they have the lead at Evanston. The Hawkeyes continue struggling at the free throw line. But there continues to be foul situations. When you go ahead and look at the foul situation, you see the stats about even as far as field goal percentage, free throws. Pretty much everything on down the line. I just look at that rebounding stat with Iowa having the huge margin and Wisconsin really not rebounding the ball very well this year, but today they are. And there's a foul called on the inbounds effort as the Hawkeyes try to get it in. And the foul is called on a Shuku. That becomes the second Badger starter with three fouls and we're only in the first minute of this second half. Yeah, you've got Hall with three, a Shuku with three, and you've got Coleman on the bench. He's got three. And remember, there are only nine players dressed for the Badgers, and two of them are walk-ons. So the Hawkeyes hope that they can wear down the Badgers here in the second 20 minutes at the Wisconsin Fieldhouse. Peterson puts the move on Woolridge. Sam Oakey out of Cassville, Wisconsin, number four, leading scorer and rebounder among freshmen in the Big Ten this year. And a foul is called as Peterson tries to make his penetration. Settled on the blocking foul, and that will be his second foul. Wisconsin will try and score on their inbounds plays. Coach Bennett really likes opportunity to score, and they get it from the jumping ability of Sam Oakey with the seal and the left hand. He does have some hops. At the other end, Murray's basket will count the goaltending on Oki. The basket counts by Kenyon Murray. Nice job with the conception of the out-of-bounds play. Get everybody away from Oki. Let him alley-oop it because he can out-jump anybody that's in this arena. And then a little left-handed touch for the deuce. Peterson pulls up over Millard, gets his own tip in. Roselle 
Paul Peterson in double figures. He's got 10. The Badgers lead at 43-40. A long look at the basket by Kingsbury. And again, Kenya Murray running the court extremely well. And possession arrow will give the ball to Iowa underneath their own basket. As we might mention, the Hawkeyes have come out in the gold uniforms for only the second time this year. And, of course, they save those for very special events. Well, they're hoping to get their first road victory. And they want the gold to bring them a little of that uh, golden luck. And Kingsbury having trouble again shooting. There's and that thumb certainly has rebound. to bother you because that's your guide hand. And it's hard to get your hand released to go straight at the basket with that guide hand hurting. And obviously it is. He's had a wrap in some other games, came out without the wrap in the first half, but it is on now as the second half is underway. Badgers with the ball and a three-point lead. A little over two minutes have been played in the second half. Oki has good range. That is his second three. Oki with an average of 13 has 17 points. And he has just been hot the entire game. Inside, outside, dunking, looking to block shots. The Badgers are so tough on this floor, they are 7-1. They beat Temple here in overtime. We mentioned they beat Michigan here. Their only home court loss is St. Bonaventure. And the Hawkeyes are finding out just how tough the Badgers can be on this floor. Getting the ball inside is key for Iowa's success. And they're able to bounce the ball inside as you look at the long shot. Not good. And then going in for rebound opportunities. And at the other end, Doherty, a little drive, but that frees up Hall, and then you reverse the ball, getting a wide open shot, Oki at the top of the key. So the Hawkeyes in arrears by six with 17 minutes and 15 seconds left in regulation. In the middle, it's settled. Good entry feed from Woolrich, and the rebound taken down by Millard. And the three, banged home by Kingsbury, is his second three of the game. He's got nine. I will back to within three. A moment ago, Washuku picking up the foul for Wisconsin, and that was his fourth foul. So he had to go to the bench with still lots of time remaining. And the Hawkeyes will try to take advantage of that. He's a big presence in the middle of 6'8 and 230. Millard pulls down his fifth Iowa rebound. Settles gets Dory into the air, and he comes down on top of Settles, his second foul. Settles getting an opportunity to draw a foul. Look, gets the ball inside against the zone. Open opportunity. And then chasing it down as Wisconsin could not get a hold of it. The good look by Kingsbury to finish it. One of those three-point shooters who can actually back up and nail him. And that's what he did. Took a step backward and bang. And they are saying Settles was shooting the ball. Settles with 10. Now make it 11 points. And Iowa back to within two of Wisconsin. And the fans here not happy with the call against their home team. Yes, Settles had his career high here at this field. Last was a freshman. Bowen rebounds the Iowa men. Nice. So that time, good offensive glass effort by Bowen, and that gets the Hawkeyes a tie with the Badgers. And sometimes you can work a set play off a free throw. That time, Bowen getting open to get to the glass before the Badgers could block off. Coleman in the middle now for Wisconsin with Washuku on the bench with those four fouls. Okie, Peterson, Hall along the perimeter, along with Doherty, and it's Doherty backing down Settle. Holman. Holman hits the shot. Millard backs into him. Basket will count. And for Millard, it is his second foul. Holman, chance at a three-point play. Coleman comes up over the back to see Millard having it, and then Coleman just tips it away to himself and the putback. Have to be strong with the basketball. You see the push in the back. Millard bounced ahead. That's why Coleman had some pretty good position. And the sophomore from Erie, Pennsylvania, cannot complete the three-point play. J.R. Koch into the lineup for the first time, and he snares the rebound. 
Kicking against Hall for the Hawks get a fresh 35. And we've got a timeout. It comes with 15.48 left in regulation. It's the Badgers leading the Hawkeyes by two. Wisconsin 48, Iowa 46. 19. Okay, one more time. This is what it's like to watch the Hawkeyes at home. And this is what it's like to watch them at the game. At home. At the game. So remember, to see the Hawkeyes where you can see the Hawkeyes, head to your nearest Old Milwaukee display for a chance to win free tickets. Until then, enjoy the game. Old Milwaukee and Old Milwaukee life. It doesn't get any better than this. Whether you're crossing the Sahara, or climbing Kilimanjaro, or hiking through Hoboken, keep in mind, two-thirds of the Earth is covered by water. We do. Waterproof rock ports, all-terrain vehicles for your feet. If you wear extremely lightweight rock port hiking boots instead of heavy hiking boots, your feet lift something like 20,000 fewer pounds every day. Rock ports. Walk into your nearest Walker shoe store. When it comes to being accurate and complete, there's only one phone book in your community that deserves a gold star. Reach for the star, your Telecom USA directory. More names, more towns, more information. It's a map book. It's a government directory. It's a shopper's guide. It's a phone book. It's your one source resource. Reach for the star, your Telecom USA directory. More names, more towns, more information. On their home floor, the Badgers are tough, and they lead the Hawkeyes 48-46. to 46. We take a look at our Norwest Bank quick stat, and certainly rebounding, a surprise for Dick Bennett's team today. Well, Iowa being out-rebounded by four, and if you don't take Iowa getting some turnovers and points off turnovers, the score certainly would be more in Wisconsin's favor. Wisconsin look. comes out, goes zone. Now, if you look at the Badgers' last two games, they get blown out of Penn State, 79-50, blown out at Indiana, 81-55, but a young team is so much better on their home floor. It's Iowa basketball. Big, big difference when you're a young basketball team when you play away and you play at home. I think it's just a big difference in this conference. It seems when you go on the road, and you've really got to play 10 to 15 points better to have the opportunity. And you look at Kingsbury, he could not catch that ball with two hands. He caught it only in his right hand. It took him a little time to set and get the shot off. So that left wrist of Kingsbury is causing him some problems. Hall tries to beat Glassford to the baseline, but Montero does a nice job keeping him out defensively. Oakley has an excellent afternoon. That's only a second miss. He's seven and nine. The Hawkeyes cannot take care of the glass. Peterson for three. Misses it badly. It's Iowa basketball. Two things impressed me about Sam Oakey. You mentioned one of them earlier, his ability to get up in the air. The other thing that impresses me about Oakey is his great range. Well, he's really a complete player athletically. It's knowing the game that Coach Bennett said he hopes to be able to educate and help the young man become just an outstanding Big Ten player. Oakey, a third-team parade All-American. Guys need two to tie, three to lead. They'll go for the two. Millard wants to take it to the hole. And he is fouled by Doherty. And that's the third foul called on Sean Doherty. I, I was able to get the ball into the zone. Coach Bennett doesn't like that. And when they do, they create problems for Wisconsin. Four people, they're saying that is a foul before Millard lost the ball. And once again, as the third personal on Doherty, I really think the tempo of the zone defense by Wisconsin has helped Iowa. It has slowed them down, made them a little more patient to get good looks at the basket and try and look and feed the ball inside. Oriental into the guard spot for the Badgers. He, too, has three fouls. Basically, everybody for Wisconsin, except for Oki, is in foul difficulty. Oki has only two, but Ashuku on the bench with three. Oriental has three. Hall has three. Coleman and Doherty all have three. And again, it's only a nine-player squad right now for the Badgers. Woolrich for three. And Oki has the rebound. His fourth rebound to go along with 17 points. 
Nobody scored in the last two minutes with Wisconsin holding a 48-46 lead. Oki tries to take Bowen into the paint, and Bowen is called for the hold. Bowen's foul will be his second foul. Woolridge over in the corner, kind of hiding from that zone. Going up, getting the open look. See the release and the follow through. You can actually see the fingertips pointed right at the rim. And you want to point them down. That Called inbound. Not, yeah, that one did not go for Andre, but did not. And another turnover. Wisconsin is going to definitely have their season high, or should have, for the year on turnovers. I believe that's turnover 18. And Dick Bennett goes, that's not the way we talk. Eight those turnovers. Bennett, first year head coach of the Badgers. Their third head coach in as many years, Stu Jackson, Stan Van Gundy, and now Dick Bennett. And the Hawkeyes give it right back as Iowa commits their 15th turnover. So 33 turnovers in this ball game in the first 27 minutes. Oriental tries to take Kenyon Murray inside, but dribbles it off his sneaker, and the ball will go back to the Hawkeyes with 13-14 to play, and Mac. No one has scored now since the 15-54 mark. Nobody scored in the last two and a half minutes. And we saw Coach Bennett just hide his head in his arm. The most turnovers Wisconsin's had all year is 21 in one game. They're at 19 now. So the Hawkeyes are close to forcing their opponents into a 50-plus turnover week with Ohio State turning it over 30 times on Wednesday. Settles in trouble, finds Millard off the baseline. It won't go. Coleman with the rebound, and Murray with the foul. What you're finding is Iowa is holding the basketball, not a lot of ball movement in reversal, and that is because of the Wisconsin defense. They go attack the basketball. They try to prevent you from ball reversal. Murray with the steal. Woolridge double pump, has it blocked. He will go to the free throw line. There is no question Iowa's having trouble handling the basketball, just not catching it. And I know some of the players at the shoot-around talked about the ball felt slippery, the balls they were using here. Moselle Peterson on the foul, and that will be only his first. But you're right, so many times the ball's gone into the lane, the Hawkeyes have not been able to hang on. You front Oki, kind of ward him off so he can't use his jumping ability to go get it. And Murray gets the interception. Woolridge now the scoring opportunity. Maybe. Doesn't get the roll. And the Hawkeyes are now 9 out of 17 at the free throw line. This is a team that shoots better than 70% on the year. And that is the first point put on the board in the last two and a half, nearly three minutes to play. Here's Oki finding Coleman. The Badgers trying to add to their one-point lead. Peterson does. Moselle Peterson, whose career high is 18 against Northeast Illinois, has 13 in this one. Millard tries to fight through the double team, but travels. And it looked like Russ Millard strained his ankle trying to get through that double team. He may have rolled on somebody's foot. The pressure by Iowa and going over the top. Millard tries to stop Peterson, or rather Bowen is up there, and it's Bowen picking up the foul, and that will be his third. So now the Hawkeyes have committed their fifth. The Badgers have already committed six, and free throw shooting could really become crucial down the stretch. Dick Bennett, 52-year-old native of Clintonville, Wisconsin, about 31 miles from Green Bay. He coached at Wisconsin Stevens Point, then coached at Wisconsin Green Bay took the Green Wisconsin Green Bay team to three NCAA tournaments. <laughs> Passed over for this job several times before well, he got it. This was his dream. He'd like to be the Badger head coach, and now it's his. Peterson hits them both. The Badgers build the lead to six with 12.23 to go. So in that Wisconsin Green Bay team, you know, he beat California. They were highly rated with Jason Kidd, Lamont Murray. Settles in the lane, tries to take it to the hole, but Doherty gets a hand on it. And, and a foul spotted on Peterson. Like you say, the fouls keep mounting up. And 
Already the Badgers now up in that one and one. So a chance to shoot it at the line and try and creep up with some points. And overall, the Badgers, boy, when you look at the point or the uh, foul total up there, they've got uh, three on three of the players out there. Peterson, Doherty, Coleman, or sorry, Hall. Murray's free throw gives him eight points. His average on the season is ten and a half. Kenyon from the free throw stripe so far today, two out of three. By hitting them both, the Hawkeyes are able to set up their pressure. Badgers trying to break a two-game losing streak after their win over Michigan. Doherty squares up against Bowen, and the rebound taken down by Kingsbury. Hawks within four. Woolrich kicks it back out to Settles for three. That's long. And Jeremy Hall pulls it out for the Badgers. Here's Hall trying to get around an Oki pick. Now Oki, the screener, comes out to take the feed. I was a little surprised Hall didn't take that shot. He had his screener protection and still held it. Badgers have 10 seconds to shoot. Underneath it's Coleman. There was a fine entry pass to get Coleman the easy two. And the upset-minded Badgers take a six-point lead with 11.06 to go. And Oki's trying to get the home crowd really into this game, and they are. Yes, they are. No question about it. Every seat is filled. 11,500 a sellout crowd on hand today in Madison. Kingsbury trying to shake Peterson. Does, but does not get the bounce. And, and it's the Badgers with the ball and a six-point lead. What Tom Davis talked about is sometimes a team will become impatient against a very patient team. And you can see that sometimes in Iowa's half-court offense. The Hawkeyes have missed their last seven shots. Oki puts it to the floor against Murray. Shot clocks at eight. Underneath, Doherty trying to back down Bowen. Does. John Doherty, 6'10", 230. Used some good strength that time. And the Badger crowd is on fire, and Tom Davis will call a timeout. 10-10 ten, ten to go. The Badgers have just opened their biggest lead. In the first half, they led three times by seven points, but now they lead by eight with 10 minutes and 10 seconds left in regulation. As you look, Wisconsin trying to move and get inside. Opportunity, little double pump, and the shot clock is down to four. That's the patience at the offensive end. Coach Bennett likes to see a good shot opportunity and try and shorten the game, especially when you're the underdog. Hawkeyes using the 20-second timeout. Was that just to quiet the crowd, maybe to try to change the momentum or to call a specific play, would you uh, think? I think it was more, let's just get back on the same page. Let's find out what we want to do offensively against Wisconsin and see where we've got to stop them at the defensive end of the court. Again, the Hawks have missed their last seven field goal tries. It's allowed Wisconsin to build their biggest lead. Bowen tries to work it inside to Millard. He can't hang on. The Hawkeyes just having trouble holding on to the ball. Here's Woolridge rising up for a three. Settles with an offensive rebound, and he is fouled. And that'll be Coleman's fourth, and I think that's the way Iowa is going to get back into the game to even it up. It's going to be more at the free throw line because Wisconsin does have foul problems. They have a short bench. And being able to take it inside, but of course the zone... That's exactly what Coach Bennett is trying to counter is say, Iowa, beat me from the outside. I'm not going to let you get it inside. I'm not going to let you get to the foul line. For the Hawkeyes, that is their fourth point in the last five minutes and 40 seconds. Settles with a team-high 12 points. Next up for the Hawkeyes, a nationally televised home game Thursday against Illinois. 
a struggling Illini team that tonight is home with Indiana, still looking for their first conference win. And you uh, know Garris is injured, bad shoulder, and now they've lost uh, Brent Robish, who is transferring to Oklahoma State, where his brother's going to play basketball. Settle has hit them both. The Hawkeyes are back to within six. Coleman, a big slam, no for the last Badger bucket. It's Wisconsin by six. It starts long before spring. For a lot of reasons, I have to make the right choices along the way. Because a successful harvest is more than hard work and a little luck. Finally, getting to this moment leaves me with a feeling that can't be explained. It can only be experienced. Statistician Doug Schmidt, Larry Morgan at the Wisconsin Fieldhouse, where the Badgers lead the Hawkeyes 57 to 51. Tom Davis talking to his team in the last timeout, and you notice everybody's focus, Mac. They're listening to every word. Well, they realize this game is one that now they can lose, and it's slipping away. Iowa three for 12, and field goals and 0 for their last eight, while Wisconsin eight of 14. Hawkeyes have not scored a field goal since about the 16-minute mark. That's one of, I think, two big statistics in the ballgame. The one you look at right there. And the other one, I think, in addition to the field goal shooting, is you look at the turnovers. Iowa's being out-rebounded 27 to 19. They've been out-rebounded only once this year. That was at Purdue. Away from the ball, Sam Licklider has spotted a foul. And it will go against Iowa. Just settles, trying to establish position. Well, you keep seeing Iowa's field goal percentage go down, now 44%, while Wisconsin's still up there at 54%. And if you do find a truism in the year, the two Iowa losses have been the only two times the opponent has shot better than Iowa. For Iowa, that was their sixth team foul. Wisconsin is already in the penalty. Here's a steal by Andre Woolridge. Hawkeyes have the numbers, and Woolridge closes. And you see where Wisconsin used their two big men, Oki and Doherty, as settles, almost gets the steal. But Oki and Doherty bring the ball up because of the shortage of guards at Wisconsin. That's good for a height they can pass over. But the thing they lack then is maybe some ball handling skill to receive it and to pass it as Woolridge then challenges the great jumping ability of Oki. Iowa has scored the last four points in the ballgame to cut the Badger lead, so Wisconsin uses a timeout. Our score, Wisconsin 57, Iowa 53. When it comes to the best, the best book, the Bible, the book that God wrote, the best music, old-fashioned gospel music, the best country, the good old USA, and the best home is the Fortress Dynamax Home. Welcome to my Fortress Dynamax home. This is my kitchen. I love all the counter space. Lovely living room. Do you like it? Come and see us at Brothers Three Mobile Homes. Closed Sunday in honor of our Lord. Meet the friendly folks at Randall's. Linda has been with Randall Foods for three years. She is quick with a smile when you have a question or comment. Kevin keeps a watchful eye on Randall's low prices. He can help you find just about any item in the store. Teresa, Carrie, and Les will get you quickly on your way as they assist you with your groceries. The friendly folks you know by name are at Randall Foods. 
Bring a touch of heritage into your home. Welcome to Amish Heritage Furniture. Each piece of furniture in our gallery was built one at a time with Amish craftsmanship. Stop in and choose from our complete line of furniture and accessories. And don't forget to look over these hand-quilted Amish quilts and wall hangings, all crafted to heirloom quality. Furnishings for your home. Share the heritage with us at Amish Heritage Furniture, 3271 Armar Drive in Marion. It's the Badgers by four, and Wisconsin's got the ball. Doherty, Hall, Oakey, along with Peterson and Coleman in their lineup. For the Hawkeyes, Bowen, Glasper, Murray, Woolridge, and Millard. And the Hawks making a quiet six-point run in the last minute to cut this back to a two-point game. And now, opportunity. Glasper does not believe it. He's called for over and back as he and Woolridge tried to team on the steal. Ball was touched in the front court area, and the next person to touch it was a Hawkeye in the back court area. You'll see. Oh, here's the back court touch. And now, now it's Iowa in the four court. With the and touch. Now in the back court. Yeah. The back. I don't know. His, uh, it's close. It's called. You can't do anything about it now. <laughs> You're right about that. Jordy on the miss. Coleman right there, and he got shot. Booker Coleman had the position established. As Millard tried to get in there late, and Millard called for the foul. His third. The rebounding statistic, really, I continue to be amazed by that, Mac. The fact the Badgers have done such a good job on the glass. They really have, and it's aggressiveness. They have the inside position where Iowa had to go defend on the wings and in the corner. That drew them away from the basket when the ball came that direction, Coleman on the inside. And he is not a good free throw. No, shooter. he's not. Just sticks out of 15 now on the year with two misses in this game. Millard's three foul. Bowen with three. Settles with three. That's the Iowa foul situation as far as players in difficulty. Yeah, and the percentage heading further south. The Hawkeyes trailing it by four. 840 left in regulation. This juncture in the game. This may be a very, very important possession for Iowa. Which to the point every possession is very critical. And that is a lob pass, and Coleman will get the push foul there. And the Hawkeyes are delighted to have Ryan Bowen going to the free throw line. He has become one of the team's best free throw shooters. In fact, he is at 22 out of his last 23. So Bowen goes to the line with 8.26 left in Wisconsin, leading at 57 to 53. And Coleman is gone for the game. He is fouled out with a total of four points. In some cases, maybe Hawkeye fans don't want to see him go because he has struggled at that free throw line. Gives you a person to foul in late game situations. Bowen continues his outstanding free throw shooting. The foul situation really critical for both teams. We mentioned the Hawkeyes who had three fouls for the Badgers. Bashuku has four. Oriental has three. Hall has three. And Doherty has four. And Bo keeps uh, getting better and better at that free throw line. Yep, now 24 out of his last 25. As we mentioned, he's the guy Iowa wanted at the line. He did his job. He pulls the Hawks back within two. His settles checks back into the Hawkeye attack. Doherty having some difficulty. Finds Oki, who is double teamed. But then coming up with it is Peterson. And the shot clock didn't start that time. Wisconsin was almost up near half court. Hawkeyes have a six point run. Oh, Oki was wide open and didn't realize it. Nobody was behind him. He got covered up a bit. He still scored at 19 for Oki. The Wisconsin crowd really into this one in this old field house. They can make a lot of noise. Back into the Hawkeye line. But back to the other end, that last Oki bucket, one of the things he did was he really did an outstanding job catching the deflected basketball. See, there was nobody behind. Once Murray kind of flashed, Oki could have taken it right to the rack, maybe even drawn a foul, but he goes to the fadeaway and still successful. Our guys trying to run their offense against this very tough Badger defense. Wisconsin just so effective on their home court. 
seven and one. Their only loss, as we mentioned, to State Bonaventure. Prestige wins over Michigan. They beat Marquette here. They beat Temple here in overtime. Hawks with eight seconds to shoot. Settle scores. Again, the middle is open because Kingsbury or a shooter will draw that man out at the top of the zone. And that gap is open for the flash or the step in that settles his bound. Iowa going zone. And you'll try and see if Wisconsin goes a high low, they step out Oki. Ashuku with those four fouls, the starting center has been on the bench for the Badgers for a long time, really giving them only a six-man rotation now with Coleman fouled out. Hawks look to tie it up. But instead, they turn it over. And here comes Oriental, leading the Badgers on the break. Oriental to the middle, scores it, and the blocking foul will be called. Murray guilty of his third foul. Basket counts. Big play by Hensi Oriental, the Canadian freshman for Wisconsin. Took a challenge. An opportunity to score as Wolverine gets caught in the middle of the air. Nothing to do trying to find a trailer, Millard. And then Oriano goes up. Even though Wolverine, or excuse me, Kenyon Murray was there to take the charge, didn't get the call. Settles tries to keep it alive. Can't do it, though. It's Badger basketball. And Iowa players indicating a push by Oki as Settles went up for the ball. And Bennett says he'd like to have a timeout. And you can be sure he'll look to try and set something up to score on this inbounds play. It's a very key possession for the Badgers. Six and a half left to play. The Hawkeyes trail Wisconsin 61-57. And we'll be right back. NBC News called it a success story that improved health care. At Forbes magazine, Steve Forbes started a new idea, a form of medical savings accounts. People choose their own doctors, costs are lower, and individuals keep the money they save. I'm Steve Forbes. Medical savings accounts can improve care, cut waste, and protect Medicare without reducing your benefits. You control your health care, not the politicians. Steve Forbes, conservative for president. Hi, we're Schulte and Swan. We're on in the morning at Max 102.9 Radio. You like country music? We play a lot of it. Ton. 20 in a row of today's hot new country. That's good. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. 20 in a row. <laughs> that, uh, let me buy that sandwich, man. Later. Cedar Rapids, hot new country. Max 102.9. Dick Luger knew he was right to tell us about nuclear terrorism. And now, three national magazines have proved it. The fact is, this is not the sort of thing that's discovered by a poll, by a person seeking popularity, by a person with a finger in the wind. I've tried to devote my time and effort to those things that were truly important. Those things that could change the lives of people in their communities, in this country, in the world. Dick Luger. Everything a president should be. Wisconsin leading Iowa, 61-57, the last possession for the Hawkeyes. They did something Tom Davis wants to see them do a lot more of, get the ball in the middle. Well, Jess Settles comes over, looks for it, tries to get it along the baseline. Not there, so he stays active. As the ball gets reversed, he looks to pop in to the middle. Open opportunity at 12 feet, but later on, he picks up his fourth foul. We always talk about the importance of moving without the basketball, and that time just showed you how it's done. But settles with four fouls, and uh, as we all know, Jess Settles uses his aggressiveness to become a good player, and all of a sudden you take that away, it can be harmful to the Hawkeyes. Always the three up the front of the rim. Oriental trying to get the rebound back, and he picks up his fourth foul. Oriental did get the ball, but Sean Doherty didn't. And that'll be Doherty's fourth foul. So you've got Wisconsin players still in some foul problems. Doherty's the only one with four on the court. But Iowa does have their two big men settled with four and Millard with three. And it's the 10th team foul on the Badgers, which means the Hawkeyes now get a guaranteed two on every free throw trip with 6.07 left in regulation. 
Montere Glasper has not scored. In fact, he's not taking a shot. Well, offensively, has not really looked to score or be into the scoring opportunity. He's looked to drive the ball and kick it and find some people. Again, Wisconsin continues to have the rebound edge over the team that leads the country in rebounding margin. I believe Iowa's going to get to the free throw line. They just have to make their free throws in the remaining six minutes of this game. You know, I said it about six minutes ago, and I still believe it. This may come down, and I think it may well come down to a free throw shooting contest. Hawkeyes from the stripe, 17 out of 26. So Iowa improving their free throw shooting here in the second half after struggling in the first half. I was back within three with 6.05 to go. In the second half, 10 of 14 from the line, certainly uh, better than 7 of 12. Just under six to play, rising up is Peterson, leaving it way short. Kingsbury with a rebound, and the Hawkeyes can tie it with a three. Again, Wisconsin staying zone. And they almost have to, again, with their foul problem, because a cutting, slashing Iowa team would probably pick up some more fouls by the Badgers. They're just making Iowa become an outside shooting team to win this game. Shot clock's at nine. Now five seconds to shoot. Kingsbury. Big offensive rebound by Kenyon Murray. And the Hawks have a fresh 35 to try it again, trailing by three. Murray having all kinds of difficulty. And he is fouled. Kenyon Murray got all kinds of company, all kinds of problems in the lane. And now Oriental has his fourth foul. Make it his third foul. Back into the Hawkeyes. Andre Wolverine. And the Hawkeyes, again, once they're able to drive, you see, they do get the attention of the defender, and they're able to get the fouls. Wisconsin in the zone stays out of some foul problems. Like I said, forces Iowa to shoot the outside shot. Murray in double figures with 10. Two other Hawks in double figures. Settles has 15, Woolridge has 12. Great right. 10 against Ohio State on Wednesday, and now 11 on this one against Wisconsin, and the Hawks are back within one. And Iowa creeps back into within one, and they've done it primarily at the foul line, as now Murray picks up a third foul. It's one of those where the first person may have not gotten caught. Oki pushed off, and Murray trying to hold him, and Murray's explaining that. Uh, Tom Davis playing against a team that he has a 10 and 6 record against at the University of Iowa, the Wisconsin Badgers, and Sam Oakey goes to the free throw line. Oakey with a 19 point effort. The number four all time prep score in Wisconsin history with a career total in high school of 2,539 points. He now hits the 20 point level in this game, and the Badgers up their lead to 62 to 60. Yeah, and Oakey usually only gets to the free throw line four times a game. This will be his seventh free throw. And Dick Bennett's ball club has a three-point lead. You'd like to certainly score here. You'd like to score every time. That's obvious. But you'd like to keep the pressure on the opponent where it's a one-possession game. Kingsbury got up into the air and had problems knowing what to do with it. But Iowa gets the break and gets the basketball. And the Hawkeyes a couple times have gotten caught up in the air, but they're trying to drive. They're trying to penetrate get inside that zone and Kingsbury that time trying to create the, the gap we saw for Settles see if they could get him the ball 15 on the shot clock Wisconsin continues to jam the middle every time the ball goes that direction 6 on the shot clock Woolrich spins, scores oh what a great move that's one where you have to have somebody just say I gotta take it Myself, as the shot clock's coming down. And Andre, Woolridge, so often done. the guy who wants to do it and does it. The Hawkeyes can take their first lead of the second half since very early. Kingsbury. <laughs> With yes! the look. 
And the Hawkeyes have a 65-63 lead. It's been a long time for the Hawkeyes to have that. Hall having trouble dribbling the ball up the sideline with the left hand. 20 seconds time out of Wisconsin. 20 second time out here taken. Let's get a look at the last two Iowa positions. A couple of very crucial baskets for the Hawks to take their first lead of the second half. Shot clock going down. We saw this at Iowa State in that game where Woolridge just said, get on my shoulders, Hawkeyes. We're going to go for a ride. And then the other time down the court, Woolridge draws the attention. And then Kingsbury gets the open look, setting himself, knowing it's coming in Iowa. Four of their last five attempts going down and now the two-point lead and so we come down to the final 402 Don Davis's team looking for a road victory they're so tough to come by in the Big Ten Wisconsin has missed their last four shots as they inbounds young Badger team serving notice that at least here in Madison they could become a factor in this race not to challenge for the championship but on who does challenge Oki gets pushed. And Bowen committing the foul. Okay, what I've seen on some of the players' faces, and it happened there, when the foul's called on them, they honestly have that look of, I don't understand it. it they feel, you can tell the feel there isn't consistency sometimes in how the foul situations have been called. There have been a lot of them called, and it's been both ways. And it's the fourth foul on Ryan Bowen. No other Hawk with more than three. Oki drains the free throw. Well, he I missed know his first two, but it's hit his next three. Yeah, with Badger fans, he's okie dokie. There's no question. He can tie it if he hits this one. He does. Game's tied. 65, 352 remains. This is where Iowa hopes that their experience factor can put them over the top. Don Davis holds up four fingers in front of the Iowa bench. Experience, poise, patience. As close losses in January last year, the Hawks hoping they learn from those and can take advantage of it and come up with a win here. Millard has the ball knocked away by Oki. So now 11 seconds on the clock to shoot as the Hawkeyes will inbound. Just settles momentarily on the pines. He's had quite a day. 15 points, 5 rebounds. Kingsbury for three. Millard, big offensive rebound. And he will go to the line. That's a huge rebound by Millard. Just jumping over people, being able to grab it with the strength and the putback. Lozell well, Peterson has drawn his third foul. So Russ Millard will go to the line. I was leading score on the year, held to six points so far. He is leading Iowa in rebounding with seven. Russ has been an outstanding free throw shooter, an 82% free throw shooter. Today, he is two out of five. And in big 10 games, he had been up to 88%. Millard unties the score, gives Iowa the lead with 3.20 left in regulation. Here's Hall pulling up for a deep three. Jeremy Hall has got nine points on three trays. Badgers back into the lead by two. Is Jeff Settles on the bench just getting that last win, Mac? Well, I honestly don't know. You, you certainly want to have one of your leaders, one of your most experienced people in there. I don't know, suffering a little bit from the flu or cold, but look for him back here shortly. Millard tries to take it to the middle, and he is fouled. So Russ Millard, who has struggled today on the free throw line, but is one of the top free throw shooters in the league on the season, will go right back to the line on Sam Oakey's third foul. Now Jeff Settles rested for the last 240. Bowen with four fouls checks out. But remember, Settles also has four fouls. Millard looking for his eighth point. Needs them both to draw this game even. Millard shooting into those creature bleachers, or ble bleacher creatures. Bleacher creatures. Whatever. A bunch of kids waving their hands. <laughs> yeah. Making it difficult. Millard concentrates on the front of the rim, though. And pops it home to tie it up at 68. 
First close game the Hawkeyes have had in Big Ten play, and this their third conference game. Well, they've really had three blowouts, Purdue winning at home and then two games by Iowa at home. 225 and counting. Peterson for three. Nothing but fours. Moselle Peterson has tied a career high. He's got 18 points. At the other end, he's very missing. Thought he had been clipped on the arm. And last shot, only a two, by the way, by Peterson. It's a two-point Iowa lead. Iowa deficit at 70-68. Badgers with the lead. I'll tell you, in the old days, you didn't have the shot clock. A Dick Bennett team would control this basketball the rest of the game unless you wanted to put him on the foul line. And his team's always shot free throws very well. Oriental, quick move to the hole, gets the roll. The Badgers take a lead of five, make it a fourth, 72 to 68, and a timeout taken. The Wisconsin lead is four with a minute 41 left. We'll be right back at the Wisconsin Fieldhouse with the score is Badgers 72, Hawkeye 68. So what's it going to be, Dion? Football or baseball? Both, boss. Both? Both. Offense or defense? Both. Both? Both. 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 Pizza Hut. Meat lovers or stuffed crust pizza? Both. 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 Want it all? Now Pizza Hut offers our lovers line toppings. Meat lovers, pepperoni lovers, or supreme. Piled high in a stuffed crust pizza. So what'll it be, Dion? 15, 20 million? Both. Both. You'll love the stuff we're made of. with a minute 41 left. Possession arrow is Wisconsin. And speaking of the possession arrow, it comes into play, and the Badgers have the basketball. And Iowa trying to avoid the upset on the road. And the breakaway by Oki holds it up. The Badgers now will try to use up some clock. They will use a lot of it if they can. Wisconsin beat Michigan on this floor. Now they're trying to come up to 2-0 in Big Ten play, and Kingsbury will send Peterson to the foul line. Kingsbury's third foul. Moselle Peterson is only a 54% free throw shooter, but today he is perfect 3-3. Three of three. Well, we talked about a poor free throw shooter earlier in the game, but a very good three-point shooter. That's a little unusual, and now Peterson showing that he can shoot the free throws. Bowen and Millard out, a minute 10 left. The Hawkeyes trail by four. By five. This next one would really be crucial because then Iowa would trail by a couple of threes with 70 seconds left. And the threes have not been kind to him in this game. And Peterson, a career high of 19 points. The sophomore from Louisville, big day for Wisconsin. Well, they beat Michigan here, so it shouldn't be a total surprise. Bowen will have to earn his at the free throw line. And again, he is Iowa's hottest free throw shooter. Exactly a minute to play. Oki on the line, and that's his, Oki on the foul, and that's his fourth. In close games, Iowa has made 18 of 22 free throw attempts. Those in the final three minutes of close games. 
Bowen just coolly drops another one home. He's three of three for the ball game. And is at 25 of his last 26. That's long. And that is difficult for the Hawkeyes because they don't get to set up the press the way they wanted to. Wisconsin quickly into the offensive end in the final minute of play. And I was going to have to foul. And they do. And that'll be Bowen. And I believe that'll, that'll be, be five, won't it? Yeah, it will fall to number 42, Ryan Bowen, in his fifth. Bowen fouls out with 50 seconds to play. Seven points for Bowen in the ballgame. Also had six rebounds, so he plays well off the bench, but fouls out with 50 seconds to play. The free throw shooter, Kenzie Oriental, is a 67% free throw shooter. He's just one of three today. You've got to say it's been an excellent job by the Wisconsin Badgers. Coach Dick Bennett, like you say, at home. They deserve all the credit. They've played very hard. They've Last rebounded well. Last week, Michigan was here. Maybe took them lightly. Came away with a loss. Certainly the Hawkeye players did not take them lightly because that victory here over Michigan really opened their eyes. But now the Badgers look like they may be able to do it again. Iowa down by seven. Has to shoot it often and quickly. Settles, finds Millard. The Hawkeyes get a two. And it's a five-point game. And that's the final timeout for Wisconsin. So the final timeout by the Badgers. They used up their 20. They used up their three. But Hawkeyes running out of time with 42 seconds. But a five-point deficit. Dick Bennett's first go-round at the University of Wisconsin. Watch for the second free throw opportunity. The coaching philosopher, Dick Bennett, and a lot of coaches really respect him around the country. Last year, a Seattle newspaper did a poll, and they polled 113 coaches. They said, who's done the best job under the most difficult circumstances? John Cheney at Temple was number one. Dick Bennett at Wisconsin Green Bay, number two in their poll. Well, it's awful hard to argue some of those things. Bennett, you know, this is the dream for him to be the head coach in his home state. And, of course, Tom Davis coming back to his home state would like nothing better than to get the win. He has a lot of friends and relatives in attendance. In fact, three of his sisters here, a couple of them are Badger season ticket holders. But now uh, Iowa has to come up with a scoring opportunity after their steal. And you cannot let a lot of time go off the clock. So it's going to be a parade to the free throw line over the next 40 seconds. And Iowa may be without their best shot blocker, Ryan Bowen, as he fouled out. So at the back of the press, could be a little vulnerable. Settles has had the hottest Iowa hands. He is 5 of 9. If you're thinking three-point situations, Kingsbury, 4 of 14. Iowa comes with four perimeter players and just one big man. That's Millard. Doherty to inbound. Badgers get it over the timeline. That was crucial for them. And now watch Wisconsin spread it. Keep the ball in the air so you can't foul him. And Kingsbury comes up. Gets the foul, and that's number four on Kingsbury. Doherty, a 72% free throw shooter, has hit his only free throw in this game. And really, Mac, the Badgers have done it with virtually a six-man rotation. Bashuku has not returned since picking up his fourth foul. Coleman has fouled out. They're really doing it with six guys. The margin right now is five. He hits them both, and the Hawkeyes have to score three times. Back in for the Hawkeyes, just center. It's the Badgers, Osita Washufu, replaces Jeremy Hall. Now Washufu comes into the lineup for the first time since the first two minutes of the half. Doherty hits them both. The Hawks are in trouble, Mac. More than trouble now, because you need to hit the three. Peterson comes out with it for the Badgers. Washukwu. 
will go to the free throw line. Recovery by Woolridge. No intentional foul. Was able to reach around and get the arm of the ball. And for Andre Woolridge, his second foul. We're down to 18 and a half seconds. But shoot with the free throw line with the Badgers up by seven. Back as you take a look at what more and more appears to be the Badgers upset of the Hawkeyes, what do you think were the key factors? Well, certainly having turnovers, again, by Iowa themselves, coming down, not getting some good looks. But then at the other end, I thought Wisconsin's game plan was just excellent with the zone, making Iowa shoot the outside shot, not hitting them in this afternoon's game made it very difficult because they were not getting inside and having the scoring opportunities they liked so much. So, good game plan by Wisconsin. Iowa not hitting some outside shots and typically not great free throw percentage that Iowa has had in other games. And I'd also go back to the rebound situation. Again, oh. Iowa, great rebounding ball club, but Wisconsin has the rebound edge, 31-27. Again, the philosophy of Dick Bennett is take away the lane, and that's passing into the lane. Don't let anybody get in there to rebound. Don't let people penetrate. So if you stop anything coming into the lane, you force the perimeter game by the other team, and that's what we've seen. And the Hawkeyes just not able to get in there. Stellos and Millard really bottled up where they've been able to score has been on perimeter area or some free throw attempts. As far as field goal shooting in the game, Iowa has shot 47% for the Badgers, 53%, really just bearing out what you were talking about a moment ago. And the press did not give Iowa a lot of scoring turnovers. They gave them some turnovers, but they were not able to convert right away for points. And the Badgers then could set up that defense that has been difficult to penetrate. So the Hawkeyes are about to go to 2-2 two and two in Big Ten play, and the Badgers are about to come up to 2-2 two and two in Big Ten play. There's that field goal shooting percentage story we were telling you about. And rebounds, close to even, but that's where Iowa can do well is when they out-rebound their opponent. 8, 10, 12 rebounds for them. Hall brings it out quickly for Wisconsin. And Oriental finishes the Hawkeyes off. So the Badgers come up with an upset over the 11th ranked Iowa Hawkeyes. Wisconsin just an outstanding team on their home floor. And Dick Bennett's ball club comes up with another big home court victory. And just it's a shot over. to end the game. Hawkeyes lose. Wisconsin, good job. And the final score. Iowa loses to Wisconsin 80 to 71.